Well, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Navy, Senator Benga Daniel, says the illegal activities such as smuggling and bunkering going on in Badagri will require the construction of a jetty to combat these crimes effectively. He also advocated vessel maintenance and repairs along with the urgent need for infrastructure development. He said this during its traditional oversight function visit to the headquarters of the Western Naval Command, Apapa, Lagos. As a constitutional oversight function, the Senate Committee on Navy, led by its chairman, Senator Benga Daniel, occasionally assess the activities of the Nigerian Navy to be sure it is not only performing its responsibilities, but that it has the facilities to do so. We are happy today to host you in order to give you practical views of what we want you to see, our teething problems, and also that you can better appreciate what we do. For example, the quantity of petroleum oil and lubricant the Navy consumes in a month you will see why it's so large. So you will be better tempered to understand our problems and give us some approval. Received by the flag officer commanding, Rear Admiral Mustafa Hassan, he believes the inspections will give the lawmakers insight to areas that need intervention. Luckily, we have the personnel. And part of what we want to do uh, talking about budgeting is to put emphasis on the maintenance and repairs of some of these uh, vessels. We are going to push that there is spare part acquisition, um, there is maintenance, and luckily, like I said, we have people who have capacity for that. So in, uh, in Badagri, they need a jetty very urgently because uh, when you look at some of what they face, especially with people who are doing illegal bunking, illegal smuggling, all manner of uh, illicit things that's going on. Without a jetty in Badagri, um, it's like in an, it's an uphill task. So going back, we are going to ensure uh, that we push as soon as possible that there should be a jetty uh, constructed in Badagri very, very quickly. The visit of the Senate Committee on the Nigerian Navy has given us more assurance on moving the Navy forward, particularly with the challenges and our future plans that we mentioned to them. We particularly have promised more for maintenance of our boats and also for our petroleum oil and lubricants. So. Senator Gwenga Daniel also expressed confidence that Nigeria will not lose the unreached Tungeju Island in Ogun State to the Benin Republic like it lost the Bakasi Peninsula to Cameroon. Tongaji Island is, uh, you know, uh, some, 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 something that is sitting on the wealth of the nation. And uh, we have strategized on what and what we need to do um, so that we don't lose Tongaji as we lost certain areas in Cameroon. Uh, we are working on that. I'm not going to disclose our strategy. These are security matters. Uh, but I'm sure that the Navy has the capacity and the capability to do right. And we're working. Sir. The oversight visit serves as a pivotal step in fostering a robust partnership between the legislative arm of the government and the nation's defense forces, reinforcing the nation's maritime security and defense capabilities. Victor Mbadeke, Silverbet News 24, Lagos.